it's it's a it's it's a weird answer that I'm about to give you, but it's it's also very honest. I don't expect any company to change. It doesn't matter to me at all. I'm not a consultant, right? So they can it's up to them what they want to do and how they want to do it. If they want to be around for a while, then the, the thing that's different is that they're they have to understand what it means to be in business today, and it's not the same thing what it meant to be in business before, right? I think they're running off this momentum that they've been able to build for years and years and years because customers just didn't have a choice or they didn't have choices or so they weren't informed or they weren't connected the way they are. And now the same is true for employees. They didn't have a choice. They, they had to get these jobs. They had to go to university because that's what every generation before them did. And now we're starting to actually feel what's happening when people pull the thread from the fabric of how we knew society and how it's starting to work. So the difference is, is that you still need change management. The thing is, what are you working to change? And I think the hardest part, as you said, is mindset. It's that nobody has the wrong mindset. Everybody thinks that there's the right mindset. No one sees the problem because there's still people who are making decisions are still handsomely paid and rewarded for making the wrong decisions. It's, it's very difficult to bring to light the incentive for someone to do something differently. And I think that that has to start with boards and that has to start with shareholders, that has to start with stakeholders who put the pressure on them, start even in the slightest bit diverting revenue and resources to innovation. I mean, it's just, it's so commonsensical, but it's difficult because the people leading the organization today are not entrepreneurs in, my, in many cases. They don't think like startups. They don't think like investors. So they know the world that they know and they're probably ex excellent in that world but the world is changing and so there's almost like this new branch or this new d company or this new initiative that has to start learning and then feeding that back into the organization there's things like expertise that is so dated within the company it's not even just management it's like what is AI going to take jobs? Yes, AI is going to take jobs. Why? Well, because we can have customer service be driven by robots now. We don't need human beings. Well, did we ever think about did customers actually like customer service before or should we think about reinventing that for a new era this so it's really just trying to understand what's the purpose what are we really trying to do well are we trying to make profit and scale that profit and be more efficient in, the, in using technologies and digital transformation to do that or are we actually trying to also fight digital disruption are we trying to embrace digital darwinism in ways that understand that the world is only going to change and progress and the decisions that we make, the things that we apply to change management, the things that we apply to digital transformation have to help us reach this, this, and this. And then what do we need to do that? Well, we need, we need different we need different managers. We need different standards. We need a different culture that operates against those standards. We need different reward mechanisms. We, did, we need new HR and incentivization and management and training programs. So every facet of the company can change, but without purpose or without some type of drive, that I think is helping it to compete in a new era of business, a, a, a business of which consumers and customers value things differently. Their aspirations, their personal goals, their personal ambitions are different. You know, so I think that those, that's where purpose comes in, is just understanding how to build a bridge to someone who's not going to build a bridge back to you.